Hi, welcome back to Mouse People. My name is Maria, and today I am joined by... I am Brian. Uh, this is my husband, and I am so glad he's uh, he's here with us today. And we are really excited. We have a really cool subject for you. We've yes, gotten some, yeah. some questions about it, and so we've gotten organized and put some information together. You want to tell them what our uh, topic is today? Magic bands. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, so we have a lot of information to share with you about magic bands, whether you've used them and been to Walt Disney World or if you're not sure what they are, um, we're going to answer all of your questions today. All right, so I'm drinking some hot chocolate today. What do you have? Some uh, hot coffee. Nice. That I ground the beans and it is delicious. Oh, wonderful. All right, well, we would love it if you would grab something to drink and join us to talk Disney. I didn't get any. Hold on. There we go. It's a tall mug, but I have to show you in here. Okay, let's see if we can see. I have uh, some marshmallows in there, but they're not just plain white marshmallows. I saw these and I said, oh, I have to share those with everybody on Mouse People because we found peppermint marshmallows. <laughs> they're like a swirled pink peppermint marshmallow. And I think they're so funny that you can just add them to your, to your hot chocolate and they, uh, I don't know how well marshmallows show up. Whoa, there they go. <laughs> Where's the dogs when you need them? But they're like a pink and white swirl marshmallow and it just is like a, a subtle mint. And so uh, that's pretty fun since we've been talking a lot about hot chocolate and fun ways to uh, enjoy it. And when we, uh, Abe and I were at Target yesterday and we found another cool hot chocolate product. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't try it yet, did you? No. Alright, so check it out. This is goldfish. We all love like goldfish crackers. Um, they're goldfish, but it is hot cocoa holiday mix with marshmallows. So it has these little chocolate graham cracker goldfish and little marshmallows. Let's see if I can hold it up. Little goldfish. Here, can you give me a, a back here? Yeah. And uh, so there's chocolate goldfish and little marshmallows. So <laughs> they're really good. So it's a fun, fun little snack with the winter theme and insert crash sound <laughs> during editing but uh so it's it's always fun when we find some neat products to enjoy uh during the, the holidays and making it cozy for us yeah all right well i think we should dive right in to I magic agree, bands because there's a lot to say about these okay first of all what are they all right do you want to show us uh show us the first first part about them because they're basically a wristband they're the coolest things, I think. Um, they definitely make a trip uh, a lot better. And Pretend like, yeah, yeah there you they go. are. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, this one is the Disney Vacation Club. This is one of, this is mine. Um, how's it go? Like this? And there's a Mickey icon in the middle. And then, uh, the decoration on either end and then here you can see the little holes because magic bands are adjustable and they're made out of like a rubbery material so you can see they have like flex yeah. to them and the straps are always a little long uh, for me and for the boys too and there's a couple options but i usually just take scissors and snip the end off so um, the way that you put them on is they just go around your wrist with the, the Mickey icon facing up. And then you put them around. And there's a little um, a little nub thing, two little pieces, that are gonna go into the holes. And then you wear them. So it's really easy and they, they stay on um, very well. So you wear it just kind of like a, a, a bracelet. You can put them on as tight or as loose as is comfortable for you. And um, they have this uh, nice little chip inside um, called an RF, a radio frequency RFID chip inside. Uh, it's the same type of technology that's used in credit cards, the your car remote 
keyless entries, fitness trackers, video game controllers. It's you know widely used, so Disney is using it. And the nice thing about these is, do you have to worry about getting them wet? You know, you do not. You can swim with them. You can be in the rain. You can. It doesn't. They are completely submergible. Okay. If you if you do not choose to use a magic band, you are not forced to. Uh, right. You can get a little uh, card instead to use if it's not something that you want to wear. Although, I don't, I, who's, uh, well, there are people that don't use them, but yeah. I mean, they, they are the greatest thing, so. We are big fans of them. Change your trip, the ease of your trip. And, and we're gonna tell you a little bit more about um, how they're used and what they're used for. But who can get magic bands? Uh, anyone that's, well, you have to go to Walt Disney World in, mm -hmm. in uh, Florida. And uh, anyone that's, well, anyone, right? So they mm. issue them to you for free if you're staying on property. Mm -hmm. When you're staying in a Walt Disney World resort, then you receive free magic bands. They also have a new program where you can upgrade from the traditional one. So we'll, we'll show you some of the, the different options. And anybody that is going to any of the parks or Disney Springs, or even if you're at home on uh, Shop Disney online, you can purchase Magic Bands. And uh, so they're available for everyone. They, um, let's, let's give them uh, a shot of what you get. So this let's is... say we book a resort stay and you make no selections yeah. about Magic Band colors because your Magic Band is connected to your My Disney Experience account. So that is kind of like your home base at Walt Disney World where you have all of your information, yeah. general information like park hours, what time the parades are, wait times for rides, but it also has personalized information such as your fast passes, your tickets, um, you can Link, reservations, yeah, your resort yeah. reservations, a lot of personalized information. So if you book a resort stay and don't make any selections, then they will send you your magic bands in um, a pretty standard gray color. And this is this is great. Um, and they send them in this you know cool box that arrives in your mailbox, and then it comes out. And then you can, you know, open them up and it gives you instructions and everybody has their magic bands. One thing is, if you are coming to Walt Disney World for your trip and you have magic bands, you don't want to pack them in the box. You want to make sure that you put them on like when you are leaving your house or um, on the airplane because if you are using Disney's Magical Express, then you'll need them as soon as you get off the plane and you don't want to be fumbling like, oh my gosh, they're in my checked luggage, so. So we, she wants to put them on like <laughs> here at home and before we even travel, but I think pretty much we put them on as we're landing. Yeah, we're I usually landing. put them in a, in a Ziploc bag and then, um, yes, when we're kind of landing and taxiing to the um, our gate, then I kind of hand them out and we put them on and put the ears on and uh, and it's official. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't put the ears on, but no, I don't. They, or you to don't, me, but... they, these are like the the bubble. You know, like when you go on property and you say you're going into the Disney bubble. These are these are the final popping of the bubble or the. You know, like as you're leaving, when oh, she take them off. I don't want to take them off. <laughs> and uh, well, so do we. We all hate taking them off because your trip's over. But yeah, um, putting them on is great, and um, pretty much you leave them on the whole time, other than when, maybe when you're sleeping and stuff like that. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So these are the gray ones that you get if you don't make any selections. If you are staying and don't want to pay any additional costs because you know it's already paying a lot, then you can choose um, solid colored magic bands. So we have um, a couple different ones. I'm wearing the red one right now. And they come in every uh, imaginable color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. The purple was the new newest one. And, and those are great. So the back of the magic band, uh, let me show you. You can personalize them. And when I say personalize, like the name, 
Um, it's not something that you're gonna see. So on the back of the Magic Band, so this is the front, and then you can see the Mickey icon, that's where the, the chip is in here. And you can see they have a little bit of depth to them, but they're very comfortable. And then on the back, um, this one says Mini Mom. So you can kind of put a nickname for everybody. We do different things on different trips. And then I've covered up, um, they have a, a unique number that is used for um, if it gets lost or you need to get something reissued, then that number is like a, a individualized one. And then you can see that there are the little screws. So this center circle can actually be popped out. Mm -hmm. So some people will get a purple band and put the red piece in there or you know change these up. And um, a little bit later we'll talk about some accessories for Magic Bands and you can actually take the puck out of the middle and put it in like a little keychain thing. So if you wanted to wear it around your neck or wanted to put it you know, on your keys or your belt or something and didn't want to wear it on your wrist, uh, that's an option too. Now these Magic Bands are like Magic Band 2.0 Yeah. <laughs> because the original Magic Bands had this shape. So let me show you. So the original Magic Bands, and it looks a little older and worn, you can tell, have the more rectangular shape, and now we have the, the more circular. So it still had the little Mickey icon in the middle, um, but the back did not have a place to take the puck out. It was just solid in the back. So, so some of the early trips, and before purple, um, they looked like these. Mm -hmm. And... They're a little bit less not comfortable. As, yeah, they're not as comfortable. They're still super comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you, you didn't complain. None of us ever complained about no, the no. comfort of the, these on for the entire any trip we've been on. Yeah, but as the technology improved, then um, they just changed the design. Um, we. I also wanted to show that they are um, adjustable. I mentioned that I just trim off the excess because. I like the um, gray or the, the color around the outside. I think it just gives it like a border, a nice finish. Um, but you can actually make the edging come off. This is the, the older one because we haven't been doing it on any of the newer ones. You can make that black border, it just rips off. And then, um, but it gives you a little for bit rougher kids, yeah. edge. Yeah, for kids or smaller wrists. Um, and then, you can see that it uh, takes more off on this end. Well, I cut some of mine off, but let's see. Okay, this is a better example on the purple one. So you have all this extra length on the end. So if you were able to just kind of pop that out, it's kind of perforated, then it shortens the magic band for um, a child or uh, uh, someone with a smaller wrist. So yep. it is nice that they're uh, easy to work with. You can. Uh, make them fit and make them comfortable for you. Let's talk about the, well, let's talk <laughs> about how exciting these are. Like what, what do they do, you know? Okay, so, and then we'll show you some more of the um, specialty Blame. ones. Yeah, because we haven't <laughs> shown them any. Because when you get right. your magic bands, like we've mentioned the colors, but then you can also get some special choices uh, for um, some upgrades. Yeah, but yeah, people so want to know, like, you, yeah, why would you do these what, what other do you do? than, you know, I mean, people aren't going to wear these just for the fashion. Okay. They might, but. You might, right. So the first thing is, if you are staying on property and you have flown in, um, the first stop that we use them at is the Magical Express. It mm -hmm. has your reservation on there, so you. Um, they have little readers. They're kind of like uh, like a ball with the same Mickey My Disney Experience circle with the Mickey icon, and they call them tap styles. So instead of like a turnstile where you walk through, you tap it, and it usually changes from like yellow to green. And, and it's then, so easy if you stay on property and yeah. and you're taking. I mean, Magical Express starts the vacation to me. Like yeah. you get off of a plane in Orlando Airport and you get. There's all these signs for the Magical Express throughout the airport. So you just follow those. It's so easy. You don't have to know anything other than how to read Magical Express. <laughs> and you just follow those right down and there there they are standing there with these those 
whatever those things are called. The tap styles. Tap styles. And the cast members are there and they, when you tap, the cast member sees your information come up on the monitors. So when we arrive, like, December 28th, it will be Noah's birthday. So many times when Noah taps, the cast members will say, Happy birthday, Noah! And he's like, oh. yeah. <laughs> Because it's exciting, because your, some of your information, your name, comes up on the yeah. on the screen for the cast members. So that's really cool. It happens sometimes going um, through rides and stuff, too. You mm -hmm. tap for your fast pass, which uh, leads us to another item that they're used for but I guess we'll get to that well let's yeah because here's a, another big thing about this so you you get on the magical Express they get you to the right bus and and that's very easy yeah get on the bus there's movies and or like you know Disney content on the um, magical Express and all that so you have a good trip to the resort to and then whichever resort you get to the greatest thing is <laughs> you love this you yeah you get text message to uh what your room number is because they, they know um you know once you check in basically at a magical express they know you're, that you're, there. you're on your way and so then they're getting your room and they text you your room number so you don't have to ever go to check in you don't have to go to the lobby i mean you walk through the lobby, I'm sure, but you, you just go right to your room. Yeah, you don't have to wait in like a long line with, That's you know, so cool. everything just waiting and wanting to go to your room. Yeah. Now, your room isn't always ready immediately upon your Depends arrival. on your flight. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, the rooms typically aren't ready till 4 o'clock or after, but, um, you know, a lot of times it'll be ready 2.33 so that you mm -hmm. can get the text message and guess what? you can go directly to your room. But even if, like, let's say those early flights where we've gotten here or we've gotten to to the resort at, you know, 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then we say we're going to go, you know, we we basically check in our checked luggage or our... Um, carry on. Our carry-on luggage, yeah. We, get, we check that in and then they'll, with bell services or mm -hmm. whatever, and then we go to a park and then still we get the text message later in the day and we don't have to worry about anything we just go back to our room and for the first time we click this to the door yeah and that opens it up and we're in our room it just unlocks the door it just yeah. you hold it up it flashes green you turn the handle and you enter your room yeah. that's <laughs> it's, very cool it's it's wonderful we really like it so if you're running out of your room to get ice or running down to get something to eat or just take a, a walk outside you don't have to carry anything with you you don't have to have any pockets um, you just make sure that you have your magic band on to get back into your room and the magic band's so light yeah you just you don't even really notice that you have it on so you just it's not like you get to the room and you're like let me get this thing off no you know <laughs> i mean it's lighter and easier than any watch you would wear or oh, anything yeah. like that yeah so um still in your resort so it gets you into your room um some of the pools also are gated and so mm -hmm. this will be your entry into the pool the pool you um again just hold it up it flashes green and then you can enter the pool those are the resorts like um, bay lake towers where other people may try to get in and they're trying like the to, polynesian yeah like the ones that are more accessible i think mm -hmm. um you know that they yeah want to make sure only the resident or the guests are using yeah they want to make sure it's not overcrowded for guests that are paying to stay there yeah. so um, so also in your resort, uh, these can be used if you are staying concierge or club level, mm -hmm. then it can get you access. So for example, at Animal Kingdom Lodge, at Jumbo House, there is a concierge level. And the sixth floor, the elevator will only go to the sixth floor if you tap your magic band. That's the only way for the elevator to give you yeah. access. We yeah. always try it every time. Yeah. <laughs> we, we did do one trip a um, long yeah. time ago where we had that level and it was really cool. But Yeah, we tried um, it and we enjoyed, you know, clicking that and <laughs> going to number six. It was uh, it was a nice, I mean, you're, you're paying for the service and uh, yeah. they do have uh, concierge um, people there that will help you. They have food and drinks and uh, it's a little bit different level of, of service and they have a, a nice lounge area and some amenities. So it was, it was really nice drinks. to try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, great for Magical Express, great in the resort. Okay, now we're off to the parks. So 
we get to the parks, you're at the main gate, guess what? You just tap and this is your park ticket. Yeah. So whether you have a one day park ticket, a park hopper, where you go more than one park on the same day, or um, for our family right now, we have annual passes. It's all contained and it's all linked with your My Disney experience and it's all on here. So you just get to the main gate, you tap it, it turns green and they say, enjoy have your we, day. <laughs> have we ever had paper tickets to Disney? I don't think we've ever had. Uh, we haven't because we did stay on property from um, yeah. our first visit. We weren't originally sc scheduled to, but our trip shortened, and that's when yeah. we you um, decided we were going to stay on property. And <laughs> we haven't decision. looked back. Yeah. <laughs> I can't argue, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so once you are inside the park, if you have a fast pass at one o'clock for Splash Mountain. Guess what? You go up as soon as your fast pass window starts and you tap your magic band in the fast pass line. There will be tap styles and then they admit you to the fast pass line and you go ahead and go. If you try to go at like 1230 and your fast pass isn't till one, it will turn a different color and yeah. the cast member will say, well, I'm sorry, yours doesn't start till one o'clock, you know, come back then. And you have the walk of shame. <laughs> Like you were trying to pull something over on them, trying to sneak in. Yeah. So uh, it's really convenient that uh, it has your fast passes. So again, you don't have to worry about having an extra paper ticket or a card to fumble and drop and stuff. It's, it's all just, just so right brilliant. Here. Like all these layers <laughs> of what this thing can do is. Yeah, it's pretty diverse. It's, yeah. When you're on the actual ride, um, sometimes they can individualize your experience with the Magic Band. When you get off Space Mountain, they have a section that you're just kind of going through to get to the oh, yeah. outside exit, yeah. and they have like space camping and stuff, and it will say your names um, yeah. because it's able to read them off of your magic band. Um, certain rides like Pirates of the Caribbean, it will take a picture of you uh -huh. on the ride, and instead of having to you know scan your magic band to save the picture, you know they show screens with everybody's pictures. You have to find yours and scan it. Right those pictures just automatically appear in your your memory maker or your your photo pass system so um that's really cool too so some people might get worried about that like mm -hmm. oh i don't want disney tracking us and everything but i mean i've never worried about that it's just like either. everyone's tracking you, you well, know we're like, we're in the park they're not tracking us in our daily life I right mean, we right. have paid entrance we know and to me i just feel like they're trying to improve and personalize our guest experience it really does enhance the yeah. experience yeah like all of these things it's fun yeah. so photo pass photographers when you see the cast members mm -hmm. that have the little vests on and the cameras they'll take your picture and then after they take your picture you're smiling and you're in front of the castle they come up with their device scan your magic band and then it is linked That's to your it. account yeah so again it's so wonderful easy. you don't and have they to can have... do any one of the family like if, sure. if it's us and and Noah and Abe yes and we all take a picture can any one the of kids us can go can up scan that and it will just go to our Disney experience and we do that because we're linked together in the my yeah. Disney experience so everything that you're setting up goes back to your your account in my Disney experience right. Okay, how about if you're on the dining plan, if you're in the resort uh, stay and you also added a dining plan, you can use this, this if you're on the dining plan. So that's really nice. Even if you are not on the dining plan and you go to a counter service restaurant, you order your um, food, you order your Mickey premium bars, and then you just scan instead of like swiping or tapping a credit card, you just do your magic band. But they do have a safeguard on that. Yes, you have a pass code um, and, and what's nice is you have a passcode but really our two are the only ones in our family that have the passcode the ability to purchase it's like a four digit pin uh, number yeah and and so the boys you know I, I mean as they get older they will probably add them so they can do that but mm -hmm. but right now we don't want them to be able to purchase you know just using a <laughs> passcode that could get dangerous but <laughs> it could uh, get expensive yeah, yeah. yeah so when you purchase food uh, dining plan or just out of pocket you can use this and then if you're at a table service restaurant where you have a server that's coming and bringing you food you can use it at those uh, right. restaurants as well once in a while they have asked for the magic band so they have to take it over to wherever they're 
kind of like handing them a credit card. They right. scan it and then they bring right. it back to you. So if that happens, um, you don't have to be concerned. That's um, that's how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> and you can leave a tip on there, whether you're paying out of pocket or whether you're on the dining plan. Either way, uh, you want to you know generously and what thank that, your servers. Like to me, what that d did for me is I didn't. I no longer had to take my wallet or cash or anything mm -hmm. to the parks I know you or love anywhere that, you? <laughs> you know like it, it it's so easy because it you know we go it's usually um especially in summer and stuff it's so hot, hot. you don't want, really mm -hmm. want to have you want to be as lightweight as possible and not mm -hmm. have all that stuff and really be carrying cash around and if it gets wet on a ride or something mm -hmm. like that so the ability to just have this little thing replace all of that it's again it's so brilliant I love it it's it, very it, freeing very and there's yeah. a, a you know a peace of mind to it um, because let's say it's a cold evening and you decide you want a sweatshirt guess what you can yeah. make purchases with your yeah. magic band as well now it doesn't store any discounts so we are Disney Vacation Club members so you get a discount for that or annual yeah. pass holder discounts it's that you still have to show like your vacation club member card or annual pass holder card but then you can actually pay um, for the products after they apply the discounts once you have your total then you can pay for it again and then you use your four digit pin uh, to authorize it right so it, that is um all over disney property at the resorts the resort gift shops in the parks and even at disney springs which is you know shopping and dining area as well yeah um you can also use them at the carts you know a lot of times you see carts and they're selling the little bubble makers and uh, mm -hmm. light up necklaces it's amazing the places you can use mm -hmm. it where you popcorn would think, stands is, yeah a two dollar <laughs> popcorn <laughs> refill in our popcorn bucket you're like beep <laughs> We have had um, an occasional cart that was a cash only for a small item. Um, but if that is the case, usually about 30 feet away, there's another cart selling the same thing that does have the magic band or they sell the same items inside a walk in yeah. gift shop. So, very um, rare. yeah, very rare. So, um, we, we really enjoy it and we use it for pretty much everything we're able to. Yeah. Yeah, we take advantage of it because we, we really we really enjoy them. Um, one of the other fun things, they are easy, they're lightweight, it's convenient. Now you said you don't worry about like your wallet and stuff. I do still carry like um, medical cards and usually a small amount of cash just because, you know, if I don't know, computers went down for a while and we wanted to get a water or something. Yeah. I don't know, that's just the mom and me. I need to be prepared. Um, but they are a lot of fun. But one of the fun things about them is to use them to kind of show your fandom or your personality. Yeah. And so in addition to the solid colored ones, then you can also choose um, to purchase special ones or if you have the resort visit, you can pay to upgrade. Mm -hmm. So it's usually free for the solid color, around ten dollars for um, a design, you know, a designed one, and then there are some that are limited release that are only out for a certain amount of times, and those are usually fifteen dollars for an upgrade with your resort visit. Um, so, for example, this is a Toy Story Land. Very fun. We got Slinky Dog, and that's a, a great one for the year that uh, Slinky Dog Dash opened. Um, this is the 2019 one. And you can see all the great characters and all the designs. And then on the back of it, you can see where it does say uh, limited, the limited release. release. Yeah, it's not a numbered release. It just means that it'll be around for just a certain amount of time. Uh, look at this awesome one up with Kevin. Guess who's that is? <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got uh, Russell and well not uh, Doug and Carl on the back. And we have some more fun ones to show you. So we got some new ones for our most recent upcoming trip because we cannot wait to take you along with us when we go uh, in just a few more days here. And we have, uh, this is a really cool Lion King. Lion King has had a exciting year this year with an anniversary and the live action. So really nice, we enjoy the, the colors. I think this one is funny, this next one. This is uh, 
Donald Duck and it really shows his personality here. Because <laughs> don't we all love when Donald gets kind of frustrated? He's like, oh, fooey. <laughs> and it has a great yellow color. And then uh, you can you can see. <laughs> so that's a, that's a really cool one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And this is an awesome one. I wonder who this could be. <laughs> so, do you recognize this uh, wallpaper? That one is mine. Yeah. I like Haunted Mansion. So, very cool. Can't wait to wear that one. I like one. that it's all black, too. Yeah. I mean, that's really black. nice. Well, black and purple, but... Yeah. And then, this is mine. We've got... Forky and all the Toy Story 4 family. Uh, this one has a, a black background to it as well, which is kind of nice. Love all the characters. I'm glad, um, yeah, they don't have uh, Gabby Gabby on here. <laughs> That's good. All right, and then um, we also had a selection that we got to make for being annual pass holders. So, so it's a different box. Yeah, this Those one is the holder. Let Your Vacation the vacation box, and then this is the pass holder box. All right, so uh, this one is cool. This is Noah's, and he got Spaceship Earth, an Epcot one. I like the colors of that. It's neat with the design of Epcot on there. Very cool. Um, we have another uh, Donald Duck. So we have two Donald Duck boys here. All right, we got Captain Brian here. We got Captain America. We've got a Marvel Magic Band. They have Star Wars. They have so many different uh, fun choices. They have rides. Lots of neat ones. It's kind of hard to kind of hard to decide, isn't it? Yeah, I know if they, if, if or when they come out with Mandalorian, oh. for sure the one I get. Yeah. Well, then we might all have that same one. <laughs> we try to get different ones, so when, you know, we take them off and they're on the dresser or whatever, we know who's is who's the next time we put them on. Uh, this one is mine, and this is Small World. Uh, this is one of the limited release ones. But if, the, if you do have the same ones, they do um, have your name printed on the back of them. Or right. whatever name you give. You mm -hmm. know, like sometimes we did, yeah. you know, character names. Yeah. Like <laughs> we try to mix it up and make it, make yeah. it fun. Um, so that's really cool. But, you know, we can't just have a magic band because there's accessories as well. So this year, let's see, is this this year's? Oh, actually it came in the box. So um, in the box, they have um, other little goodies. If you have a vacation box, sometimes you'll get luggage tags in here. And on um, this one, we got a little extra surprise in our pass holder ba bands. And yeah, I'm gonna take it out so it's not so. So shiny, or I can show, I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so these are called um, sliders, or Magic Band sliders, and they're just these little kind of loops that go right onto your Magic Band, and then it shows your fandom that you are, or shows your affiliation. So it just slides on like that, and then you can wear it, and it shows that you're a pass holder, so it just, slid right on there. They have um, additional different ones. This is uh, another one we have for um, Disney Vacation Club member. So again, you can put it on there, just slides right up, and you can wear those on your Magic Bands as well. We usually put one on each side if we want to wear both. And that's not all. They have other fun things. Um, I have a few pictures to show you. Um, and then we can show you samples of a couple of them. Um, we mentioned being able to take off the little puck. So this is um, what Disney sells with the keychain. And you put the puck right in the middle of the Mickey icon. And then you can wear it. It has the little clasp that you can hook on. $12.99 on Shop Disney for that. Magic Bandits. This is such a cute idea. They're little rubberized, thanks, <laughs> dog hair. 
These are little rubberized characters that go into, hold that, into the open holes of your magic band. So here's a, here's a sample. We've got Santa Mickey. So he's just like a little rubber cutie. And on the back, it has this little piece. It kind of reminds me of Crocs, how you can put like things in Crocs. Yeah, yeah. And then it, it snaps into the opening of your magic band. So it clicks right in there. The problem with these is, <laughs> What? Yeah, we've gotten several of these in the <laughs> bottoms of pools and yes. stuff like that. <laughs> they <laughs> are not overly secure. They are kind of wobbly and they get caught on things. And you know, you hate to spend yeah. money and then personalize it and then it's kind of disappointing when they get lost. So yeah, we don't. Uh, did we buy any? Or? Uh, we did. We bought some of the um, Pluto ones and then um, we realized that they weren't as secure so we didn't yeah. purchase any more and then like and you said we, we have a bunch of them yeah. because like i said you just find them and in the pool or places. on the floor yeah they unfortunately fall off um this was something people were kind of complaining because they wanted to have their magic band on but then they didn't know the time yeah and so this is one solution that disney came out with they had a mickey and a mini version and it was a slider it slid over um the problem with that was is that you still had your main magic band here and the clock would sit either here or it would sit on either side of it so it didn't lay flat on the right place. I don't think those were a huge hit. They are kind of no. expensive. Um, they also made another big slider. This is an example of one. And the Mickey icon, the part that it reads, goes in the center. That's why the center is blank and then it would go uh, around there. I think these items were more popular before they started coming out with the more yeah. um, decorated one because yeah. Etsy would have skins or stickers or things you could put over them. Some yeah. people would paint them to personalize them. Disney had some of these items, but now Disney has um, come up with their, their own. So when you're in my Disney experience and you do have a trip booked, this is a, an example of what you might see. Um, you have whichever guest is ready to select their magic band and you can um, click left or right to show what they have in stock. And then when you hover over it, like the Donald one, it will show you uh, what the cost is for you to order it for that trip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is, uh, is kind of how that kind of how that works you can get the free ones you can upgrade like a ten dollar one or limited release one for more like fifteen dollars so it does add up it's nice to have uh, the option to just have the free ones that are included yeah. with the price of your trip and then um, you can have a choice and you can also purchase them uh, in the gift every shops gift and shop, the yeah. resorts and everything because they don't offer every choice on your my disney experience mm -hmm. sometimes you have to check back that's pretty recent um offering as well mm -hmm. so we love the magic bands we find them to be very useful and they're kind of a little fun memory of the trip and so they're they're your transportation to um or getting getting your reservation transportation on magical uh, express, magical express. Mm -hmm. they're your room key mm -hmm. They're your park uh, tickets, mm -hmm. they're fast passes, they are um, basically your wallet. Yeah, you know, your money. You pay everything <laughs> with that. Um, they hold your reservations. Yeah. What else? Um, I mean, if uh, pool we tried to, yeah. to, to really, yeah, pool access and stuff, we tried to think of everything they are, but leave a comment down below if we forgot something or if there's something we missed that uh, you guys really out there think, oh, this is why we love them and yeah. this is why we use them or... or if you're not something. a fan, I'd like to know too. So yeah, leave us like, a comment down below if they're not your favorite thing. Um, leave us a comment down below. They're not without glitches. We have had to go down to the main desk to get it kind of recalibrated or restarted, That was so like in the beginning when they first, really with the the older style ones, yeah. we would, it was always me. It was always you. <laughs> We'd go up to the room and we would all try it. Yeah. That's... And everyone's would work and then I'd try it. Mine would not work. <laughs> and I'd have to go down and they'd reset it or do something. Yeah. And um, one time they had to just give me a whole new magic yeah. band. But 
Um, but yes. that was only in the very yeah. first few times we went with the older style ones. The newer ones, we've pretty much always, I mean, it, mm -hmm. they've improved it quite a bit. It's, yeah. It's been nice. But we love them. But leave a comment down below and let us know uh, if you've used them and enjoyed them or if you don't like them, let us know. And if you're a Disneyland friend or a friend who hasn't used them before, let us know your comments and what, what you think about them. We'd love to, love to yeah, hear from like, you. Yeah, I wonder why they don't use them. Is it just because it's one smaller Well, they have park Disneyland or? and Disney's California Adventure, but they have their own yeah. system different than our FastPass system. We should go there. You should take me there. And then we could, you know, do a <laughs> vlog for our mouse people and uh, explore all those differences a, a little more in depth. Yeah. <laughs> We need to save up some money. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Yeah, the annual passes don't uh, enter us into Disneyland, unfortunately. Oh. You can get a coast to coast oh. annual pass. No. It's just an up, up, a little bit of an upcharge. So, well, how's that coffee? Is it cooling off? Quite Mine's quite cold now. I've almost drank all of it. Ah. So I like this, this mug here. This, this was one that they had out a while ago. Yeah. I have like three or four different colors yeah. of these. So. Yeah. Well, we thank you so much um, for joining us today. I hope you found yep. it uh, informative and kind of fun. And um, smile and have a great week. Bye. Bye.